Hey y'all, I'm back to fulfill my promise. I'm going to make broccoli cornbread. And I had told y'all about it when I was cooking the collard greens and butter beans. So I've got everything that I need here on the butcher block to make it. It takes six things. It takes a box of uh, chopped broccoli pieces, or I bought a 16 ounce bag and just used half of it. Four eggs, a stick of melted butter, one box of Jiffy cornbread mix, and if you can't get Jiffy, it's just a instant, I mean, just the sweeter version. So you could use like the Morrison's honey cornbread mix or you, whatever you choose. Box of Jiffy, a small onion chopped, and two cups of cheddar cheese. So I'm going to get the camera where y'all can come down here and watch. And uh, we'll get our cornbread. My broccoli in the, in the microwave, uh, just long enough to thaw it a little bit. And you can see I've got my onions, butter, eggs. I'm putting my cornbread mix in my bowl, and I'm just gonna. I love this Swedish dough hook. I've told y'all about it. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Sir Latav has them. That's where I got mine. They're just good when you don't want to use a mixer. I'll tell you what, I'm going to use my hands because this, my cornbread mix, when they put it on sale, I buy it and put it in the freezer because I don't use it often. I make homemade cornbread. But when I make something like this, I just use Jiffy in it because that's what it calls for. And it's just the right amount for the recipe. So, but it's got lumps in it from being in the freezer. And my hand works pretty good to do this. cornbread mix and I'm gonna I put my stick of melted butter in there and I need to put my four eggs okay I've got four eggs in there I'm gonna mix that around Use my whisk a little bit. Still got a little bit of looks in it. Okay, I'm going to add in my broccoli. And my onion. And I'll give that a stir. If y'all have never had this, please try the recipe. My daughter-in-law gave me this recipe before she and my son ever married. And that was years ago. And I have used it and used it and used it. I love it. Now, you see how all of this is sticking in my whisk? I'm going to get my Swedish dough hook back and show you why I like it so well. See how open it is? I can just stir through it and stuff don't stick in it like it does in that whisk. But yet it mixes it well. It has its purpose, you know, something with lumps. It's not going to beat the lumps out. That's why I got my whisk out. But to mix something like this, it mixes it, but it goes through the big openings and it doesn't ball up and make a roadblock in there. Okay, y'all, I got it all mixed up. Glad to have my dough hook here that'll do that for me. And that was two cups of grated cheddar cheese that I put in there. Now I'm going to grab a, um, a spatula so I can put this so I can get my cornbread in my pan. This is in a 9 by 13 and I have pammed it 
where it'll come out easily. And when all that cheese melts and that onion cooks in it and the broccoli's tender, this is so yummy. It makes, it's really cool if you make it in muffins. But this is easier for me today because when you make it in your muffins, everybody gets crunch all the way around. And that's good. That's what I like, the crunch. This is going in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes and I'll show y'all its yumminess in just a few minutes. Okay y'all, so now you have the broccoli cornbread recipe and that one is a blue ribbon winner. If you've never had it, you need to make your pan of it and just eat it like it ain't fattening. It's good. And if you've had it before, well it's time to make it again. And please let me know in the comments if you make it and if you like it. And remember, if you have any questions, you can always email me. My email is below. Please put apron strings in the subject line so I'll know that it's not junk mail. Hope y'all will come back tomorrow for another good recipe. I got some more goodies coming. I'm trying to help you get food on your table. Make your family have something to look forward to and, and spend some family time together. Okay, so this is the end of my preparations for today. We're fixing to have our meal. I already showed y'all the collard greens and butter beans. And I'm, um, you'll see the pork chops that I fried and the broccoli cornbread. And I actually cheated and I'm fixing a box of a box mix of suddenly salad to go with it. But that's just a box mix. Y'all can get that and fix it. So I'll be back here tomorrow with something different. I hope it's something brand new for y'all, and I hope you try it. Hope you turn off all that junk, spend time with your family, give them some hugs, make them feel special. And I'll bring you something tomorrow that's interesting and good. The good Lord bless y'all, and I'll meet you right here tomorrow.